The last time I talked about Drake Bell was about a year or two ago, when he was accused of being a weirdo around the kid between the ages of 15 to 16. He pleaded guilty, but he didn't get any jail time. Some people on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram think he's automatically a creep, a new EDP, simply because of that, but that's not how it works. He most likely did this following his lawyer's advice. At the end of the day, he didn't get any jail time. And there's been a lot of videos, tweets, articles claiming otherwise and claiming some insane things, such as claiming he became a Mexican citizen citizen got a mexican passport and ran away to mexico simply because he posted a funny meme of him having a mexican passport and he changed his name from drake bell to drake campana which it's spanish for bell campana means bell it takes two seconds to look this up if you really cared about it i've seen people run with this narrative and think he actually ran away from the u.s from california and went all the way to mexico to run away from the allegations to escape jail time when that's never been the case it's just a joke he has with the mexican people because for some reason i don't know why but he's really popular in mexico if you're not really that big in america and you see that you have a big audience in mexico of course it makes sense for you to adapt it and be like yeah guys i'm a thousand percent mexican let the memes come let's make some jokes let's tour in mexico from a business and financial standpoint it makes perfect sense to do this this is not the same thing as edp as funny as that comparison could be and he said it himself hi i'm drake bell not drake campana soy drake bell yo no soy drake campana a lot of the news that you've been hearing, well, most of the news that you've uh, heard recently is entirely false and wrong. And I, uh, I feel that you deserve and I owe you an explanation. I didn't change my name. Um, although I love and would love to, um, I've never moved to Mexico. I, I've never been a resident or a citizen of Mexico. I don't have a Mexican passport. Um, I didn't get arrested. I didn't go to jail. I know that this has moved very quickly for you, but for, for me, it's been a three year thorough investigation into um, every false claim that, that has been made. If these claims were remotely true, my situation would be very different. I would not be here at home with my wife and, uh, and my son. And that's what I pled guilty to. You know, I, it was reckless and irresponsible text messages. I, uh, there was, I, I wanna make clear that there were no sexual images, um, nothing physical between me and this individual. I was not charged with anything physical. Physical. Um, I was not charged with uh, disseminating of photographs or images or anything like that. Uh, presented with a plea deal um, because of the messages. Uh, I felt that it was the best way to uh, get this over quickly and for everybody to involved to uh, be able to move on. But when am I talking about Drake Bell? About an hour ago, a lot of articles came out about Drake Bell gone missing. And it looks like he's been missing since yesterday. And this comes straight from the Daytona Beach Police Department in Florida. Missing. Officers are looking for Jared Bell. He should be traveling in the 2022 gray BMW. And his last known location is potentially the area of Mainland High School. I don't think he's a new EDP. I don't think he's a pedophile. I don't think he's a predator. But the fact that he's been potentially gone missing at a high school, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty funny. Hopefully he wasn't smoking any meth with no high schoolers he is considered missing and endangered if you know where he is or have any information please contact detective and really that's all the information we have right now drake bell reported missing and the timing is kind of weird considering he just got a divorce a few months ago and they have a kid together for the sake of the family for the kid i hope he's alive hopefully we don't get news that he's been found dead or something smoking crack or meth i hope not and this was his last post it seems like he cares about the kid and if you care about the kid that much you wouldn't do something this fucking crazy right i don't know what's going on with this guy i hope we get nothing but good news i'm not wishing on his fucking downfall and i just hate seeing so many videos fucking slandering this person like you, it's fine to dislike him like i'm not here dick riding him or anything some people really gotta do more fucking research when it comes to videos like these because they get hundreds of thousands of views and then thousands and thousands of people think yeah drake bell ran away to mexico and he changed his name and this this and that like you gotta be more careful with the shit you put out with that said thank you so much for watching appreciate it like share subscribe anyways i'll see you next time peace